Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to find the coordinates on the unit circle. So pag sinabi nating unit circle, ang kanyang measurement is 1. Okay? Meaning to say, yung measure ng radius is 1. So, i-divide muna natin ngayon ang unit circle. Okay, so nahati ko na yung ating unit circle. So, remember that the com a complete revolution is equivalent to 2 pi. So, again, um, 2 pi is a complete revolution which has 360 degrees. So, dividing this both sides by 2, so the value of pi will be 180 degrees. Okay? So, remember that. So, kung meron tayong 360 degrees as one complete revolution, hatiin natin siya sa 4. So, yung at, this is 2 pi, no? 0 pi, that is also your 2 pi. Okay, hatiin natin yan sa 4. So, syempre, kalahati nun, that is 1 pi or simply pi. Half of pi is pi over 2. And then, Kung ito yung pi over 2, ito yung pi, ito naman yung 3 pi over 2. And then, so 3 pi over 2, para siyang mag, nagbibilang ka lang ng 4, eh, no? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 1 pi over 2, 2, 2 pi over 2. But 2 pi over 2 is also pi. Kaya, pi na lang siya. So, next, 3 pi over 2 sunod 4 pi over 2 but 4 pi over 2 is also 2 pi kaya meron tayong 2 pi no? if you are going to continue the pattern we have 4 na no? pwede siya maging 5 pi over 2 6 pi over 2 or 6 over 3 is 6 pi over 2 is 3 pi 6, 7 pi over 2, 8 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2, and so on. So, in degrees naman, since ang complete revolution natin is 360 degrees, divide natin sa 4. So, 360 divided by 4, that is 90 degrees. So, for every uh, 90 degrees, magkakaroon siya ng 90, 180, plus 90, 270, 270 plus 90, 360. So, ito ay 360 degrees, no? 360 plus 90 is 450 degrees. Dito siya. And so on. So, iikot-ikotin mo lang yan. Next, magkaroon naman tayo ng hati dito. Okay? So, in between 0 to 90, the middle, that is 45 degrees. So, 45 plus 45 is 90. Plus 45 again, 135 degrees. Plus 45 is 180. Plus 45, dito, that is 225 degrees. Plus 45, that is 270 degrees. Plus 45, that is... 415 degrees at ah, 315 degrees sorry 315 degrees okay so next plus 45 that is 360 degrees okay so na divide na natin transform na ngayon natin siya sa um i transform na natin siya into radian measure so naka degree measure kasi siya no so, yung 45 degrees, i-multiply lang na natin by, may degrees dito, no? So, dapat may degrees din yung sa baba. So, for every 180 degrees, that is equivalent to pi. So, mangyayari, makakansel na to. May iwan yung 45 pi over 180. So, i-simplify lang natin siya, no? Saan siya pwedeng i- Ano ang pinaka-GCF nyan? Okay, ang GCF nyan is 45. So, 45 divided by 45. 
that is 1 or 1 pi. Simply pi na lang. Okay? 180 over 45 is 4. So, therefore, 45 degrees is equivalent to pi over 4. So, ilagay natin dito yung pi over 4. Okay. So, makikita nyo dito, meron na tayong mga coordinates dito sa apat na to. Kasi nilagay yung ating unit circle sa Cartesian plane where ang unit mula rito sa origin hanggang doon sa dito sa radius ng circle is 1. Okay? So, kung mula rito hanggang dito is 1, syempre, half of that is 1 half or 0.5. So, kung meron kang 0 hanggang 1 dito for your x-axis and the positive side, the coordinates will be 1, comma 0. So, on the negative side naman, negative 1, comma 0. Sa y-axis naman, mula 0 hanggang dito, that is 0, comma 1. At sa negative side, that is 0, negative 1. Okay, so later, hahanapan naman natin ngayon ng coordinates ang pi over 4 o yung 45 degrees dito. Anong coordinates yan? Dito rin, dito, at saka dito. So, pero gawan muna natin siya ng radian measure doon sa mga respective na um, degree measure nila. So, ano ang 135 degrees in radian measure? So, pwede tayong mag-convert or para hindi tayo mahirapan, ang gawin natin, meron na tayong pi over 4, no? Kasi parang hatiin lang naman natin siya, no? Mula rito hanggang dito, hatiin natin sa 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, meron kang 1 or pi over 4. Next is 2 pi over 4. What is 2 pi over 4? I-simplify natin. So, 2 pi over 4. The GCF is 2. That is pi over 2. Kaya, meron ka na pi over 2. So, 1, 2, sunod 3. 3 pi over 4. Sunod, meron ka ng 3, no? Sunod is 4. 4 pi over 4. But 4 pi over 4, pag sinimplify, mga cancel na yan, that will become pi. So, okay na rito. So, ulit, um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sunod is 5. 6 pi over 4 is the same as 3 pi over 2. So, 5 na yan, no? 5, 6, 7. And then, 8. 8 pi over 4 is the same as 2 pi. So, meron ka ng 8 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4, 10 pi over 4, 11 pi over 4, and so on. Okay? So, kung kaya nga i-simplify by reducing to its lowest term, i-lowest term yun na. Next. So, hanapan na ngayon natin siya ng coordinates. So, gagamit na ako ngayon ng um, scratch paper para sa computation para hindi na ako dito mag-work. So, dito na lang. So, paano natin nahanapan ng coordinates itong nandito na to, itong point na to? Given that mula rito hanggang dito is 1, mula rito hanggang dito is 1, ano naman ang coordinates dito banda? At saka rin dito. Okay? So, puntahan natin ngayon itong isang sheet of paper. Okay. So, kung titingnan nyo, hatiin natin ito ulit, no? So, nandito yung 45 degrees. So, ito siya. So, kung mapapansin mo, makakabuo tayo dyan ng right triangle. Where sa right triangle, since ito ay 45 degrees, 45 plus 90, 90 to, diba? Plus 45 is 180 degrees. So, magkakaroon ka ng um, right triangle where parehas yung measurement nitong dalawa. Bakit nagkaparehas? Dahil parehas lang naman yung degrees nito, yung angle measure nila, no? Okay. So, using the knowledge doon sa 
ang um, special right triangle na 45, 45 by 90, ilabas natin siya. Okay, so 45 yan, 45. So, hindi natin alam ang measurement nitong dalawa, ito. Pero alam natin ang measurement nito. Dahil mula rito sa unit circle, sabi natin ang measurement ng mga radius is 1. So, radius yan. That is 1. So, lagay natin 1. Okay. So, ang mga yare using Pythagorean Theorem or yung kanina sinasabi ko na special right triangle, pwede natin makuha yung value ni x. So, kahit yung Pythagorean Theorem na lang. So, again, paano yun? Uh, a square plus B square equals C square. Ang A mo at B ay eto, yung x. Parehas lang kasi sila ng measurement. Okay, so your C is 1. So, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared equals to 1 times 1 is 1. Solve for x, divide by 2. So, we have x squared equals 1 half. So, solve for x, alisin natin yung square, that is square root of x squared square root of 1 half, that will be x, cancel na to. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 2 is square root of 2. Then, i-rationalize natin by multiplying it by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So, 1 times square root of 2 is square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. But, square root of 4 is 2. So, therefore, ang value nito is ang length nito. That is square root of 2 over 2. So, since same sila, square root of 2 over 2 pa rin yun. So, ito na yung ating y coordinate, square root of 2 over 2, at ito naman yung ating x coordinate na square root of 2 over 2. So, makukuha na natin ang kanyang coordinates, ililipat na lang natin dito. Ang coordinates nito, square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. This is for x, this is for y. Okay? So, makukuha na rin natin ang coordinates nitong kabila since parehas lang naman yan, magkakaiba lang sa sign since this is located on quadrant 2. So, ito ay square root of 2 over 2 kama square root of 2 over 2. Ang positive is yung ang positive natin dito is yung y. Ang negative natin is yung x. Okay? So, next, sa quadrant 3 na tayo, parehas siyang negative. So, ito ngayon siya. Uh, square root of 2, negative yan. Negative square root of 2 over 2. Dito sa kabila. So, ito si x. Ito si y. On the fourth quadrant, Positive and negative naman to. Square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so, meron pa tayong kukuha na ng measurement. No? So, ang kukuha na naman natin ng measurement, kasi mula rito sa 0 hanggang pi, hatiin naman natin siya sa 6. So, yung 180 divided by 6, that is 30. So, take the 30 naman, 30 degrees. Ayan. Ayan. Take the 30 degrees tayo dito. Okay. So, kung 30 degrees yan, ang mangyayari, ito ay 60 degrees. So, 30 plus 30 is 60. 60 plus 30 is 90. 90 plus 30 is 120 degrees. 120 plus 30 is 150 degrees. 150 plus 30 is 180 degrees. Pwede na natin ituloy dito. 180 plus 30 is 210 degrees. 210 degrees plus 30 is 240 degrees. 240 degrees plus 30 is 270 degrees. Plus 30 is 300 degrees. 300 plus 30, that will be 330 degrees. 330 plus 30 degrees is 360 degrees. One complete revolution. 
If we will continue, 390 degrees and so on. Okay? So, ngayon, i-convert na natin siya into pi. Ito, yung mga naka-degree measure. So, yung 30, dito na tayo mag-work, no? So, ano nga hanapan natin ng degree, sim, uh, degree measure? Yung 30, yung 60, yung 120 degrees, 150 degrees, and so on. So, remember that um, in 30 degrees, gagawin natin siyang region measure. So, remember that for every 180 degrees, that is, that is equivalent to pi. So, multiply natin siya. Be careful, huwag kayong magkakapalit dito kasi dapat makancel yung degree symbol. So, makancel na yan magiging 3 pi over 30 pi over 180. Then, a, um, reducing this to its lowest term by 30, that is 1 pi over 6. So, therefore, 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6. Okay, lagay na natin dito, no? So, this is pi over 6. So, now, since hinati lang naman natin yung z mula 0 hanggang 1 pi into 6. 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, but 2 pi over 6 is pi over 3. So, 2 na yun, no? 3 pi over 6 is pi over 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 pi over 6. But 4 pi over 6 is 2 pi over 3. Ni lowest term yan. So, ulit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 pi over 6. And then next, 6 pi over 6 is pi. 7 pi over 6 the next. 7, then 8 pi over 6 is, ito yon 8 pi over 6 is 4 pi over 3. Meron na tayong 8, no? So, ulit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pi over 6 is 3 pi over 2. 9, sunod is 10 pi over 6, that is 5 pi over 3. So, meron ka ng 10, 11 pi over 6. Sunod is 12 pi over 6, that is 2 pi. So, sunod na sa 12 pi is 13 pi over 6, and so on. Okay? So, remember, kailangan marunong kayong mag-simplify ng fraction into its lowest term. Okay. So, susunod, kukuha na natin ngayon siya ng coordinates. So, meron siyang 30. Lipat tayo ulit dito sa kabila. Okay, so... Ito na yung ating unit circle, kunyari. So, nandito tayo sa 30 degrees. 30 degrees. So, as you can see, if I'm going to draw a segment here, magkikreate ako ng right triangle, and this will be your 90 degree angle. So, if this is 30, this is 90, ilan pang pa kulang para maging 180 degrees? Kulang ka ng 60 degrees. Okay? So, if I'm going to put out this right triangle, magiging ganito siya. Ayan, para makapag-work tayo. Okay. So now, alam natin that the measurement of this hypotenuse is 1 unit. No? Kasi radius yan. Ito, radius. So, Hanapan natin ngayon ang measurement nito. etong y natin. So, kung maganda ang ating drawing at accurate, it will fall on 1 half of 1. Ito kasi yung 1, no? Isang buo to is 1. So, syempre, half of that is 1 half. So, therefore, this is your 1 half. And we will solve for the measurement of this segment, of this side. Okay, so to do that, we can use the um, your idea about 30 by 60 by 90 triangle or gamitin na lang natin ng Pythagorean theorem. So, 
Again, that is x squared plus b squared equals c squared. What is your a? Pwede magkapalit to. That is x squared plus your b. That is 1 half squared equals c 1 squared. So, bring down x squared. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth equals 1 times 1 is 1. And then solve for x. We have x squared equals to 1 minus 1 fourth. So, 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. Okay. Then, solve for x. Alisin na yung square. Square root property. So, mga cancel yun. Magiging x equals to the square root of 3 over square root of 4 is 2. So, meron na tayong value ng x. At ilalagay na natin ang coordinates nito. That is square root of 2 over 3 and 1 half sa y. Okay? So, puntahan ulit natin yung kanina natin ginagamit. Okay, so dito, na-compute natin that the coordinates of this are square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Okay. So, kung titignan nyo dito sa bandang 60, magkakapalit lang to. Dahil yung x mo ay magiging 1 half x sya magiging 1 half at yung y mo ay magiging square root of 3 over 2 so gawin natin 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2 ok so pagdating naman dito sa 2 pi over 3 or 120 degrees kung mapapansin nyo yung iyong x ay nasa 1 half ok at yung y mo Obviously, wala sa 1 half. So, ilalagay natin ng x mo is 1 half. And your y is square root of 3 over 2. But since na sa quadrant 2 tayo, your x will be negative. Okay. On the other side, magkakapalit lang yun. So, ang mangyayari magiging square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. But your x here is negative kasi nasa quadrant 2. Okay, let's go to the quadrant 3. So, ito yung point na yun, no? So, ang mangyayari, hanapin nyo kung saan nakalocate si 1 half. Nandito ba sa x? So, kung ito yung 1 half, ang layo naman, no? Nandito ba sa y? Okay, so, nandito siya sa y. So, therefore, your y will be 1 half your x is square root of 3 over 2 then since it's on quadrant 3 pareha sya ang negative ok next 240 degrees nasaan si 1 half nandito ba sa x ok nasa x sya so 1 half kama yung y mo is square root of 3 over 2 quadrant 3 same negative ok next 300 degrees nasa si 1 half nasa x or nasa y obviously wala sa y and layo nya eh nandito siya sa x so 1 half y mo is square root of 3 over 2 positive negative ang quadrant 4 no so kaya ang yung y will be negative so dito naman sa 330 degrees magkakapalit lang naman itong dalawa or hanapin natin ulit si 1 half so, hahanapin si 1 half, nandito ba siya sa x? Ang layo niya doon, no? Nandito siya sa y. So, 1 half ang y, ang x is square root of 3 over 2, quadrant 4, positive, negative. So, nabuo natin ngayon yung mga coordinates dito sa unit circle. Okay? So, pero may mas madaling way on how we can find the coordinates on the unit circle. So, ganito siya. Okay, so ngayon, kukumpletuhin na natin yung mga coordinates ng unit circle na nasa Cartesian plane. So, ulit. Mula rito, this is 0. This is 1, 0. Susunod, this is 0, 1. Susunod, this, this is um negative 1 comma 0 this is 0 comma negative 1 okay 
Next, dito muna tayo sa middle. Yung dito sa 45, sa um, 135, sa 225, at sa 315 degrees. Okay, so hinati ito sa apat eh, no? Kaya by 4 yan, over 4. So this is pi over 4. This is 2 pi over 4 or pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 4. This is uh, 4 pi over 4 which is pi. This is 5 pi over 4. This is 6 pi over 4 or 3 pi over 2. This is 7 pi over 4. 8 pi over 4 is the same as 2 pi. Okay. So, next. Dito tayo sa 30, 60, 90, 120, uh, 150, and 180. Dinabay yan sa 6. So, by 6 over 6 pi over 6. 2 pi over 6 or pi over 3. 3 pi over 6 pi over 2. 4 pi over 6 is 2 pi over 3. 5 pi over 6 hindi na pwedeng i-simplify yan 6 pi over 6 is pi 7 pi over 6 8 pi over 6 is 4 pi over 3 so 9 pi over 6 is 3 pi over 2 10 pi over 6 is 5 pi over 3 11 pi over 6 hindi na pwedeng i-simplify 12 pi over 6 is 2 pi Okay, so meron na tayong degree measure and radian measure. So, kuha na natin yung mga coordinates nitong 30, 45, 60, and so on. So, lagyan na natin sila ng mga parenthesis dito. So, hahanapin mo si 1 half, no? So, mula rito, tingnan nyo mo yung y. Mukha bang 1 half yan? Hindi. So, tingnan natin yung x. Yung sa x, okay, so mukha siyang 1 half doon. Or, kung accurate kasi yung pagkabilog natin dito, at pag-drawing, talagang 1 half siya, no? So, your y is 1 half. So, since this is your 1 half for y, bibilang ka na lang ngayon ng 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, ganun, ganun na lang. So, meron ka ng 1. Ang 2 mo, nandito ang 3 mo nandito ok sunod 1, 2, 3 ulit 1, 2, 3 ok lahat ng mga denominator lagyan ng 2 over 2 over 2 over 2 over 2 over 2 so lagyan natin na rin ng kama lalagyan ng square root lahat ng numerator so square root of 1 wag mo na lagyan kasi the square root of 1 is also 1 Square root of 2, wala namang square root of 2 na whole number, magiging decimal yan. Square root of 3, square root of 1, tapos na. Square root of 2, square root of 3. So, nabuo na yung coordinate sa quadrant 1 dito. Sunod, quadrant 2. Okay. So, asaan si 1 half? Hanapin natin. So, mula rito, dito, ang 1 half mo ba ay nasa x or nasa y mula rito sa 120 degrees so, if you are going to draw a line here imaginary line para hindi masyado makalat no? mukha ba siyang 1 half kumpara dito sa y alin ang mas mukhang 1 half yung nandito ba sa x or nandito sa y so, makikita mo parang ito naman yung 1 half, no? Kaya dapat accurate yung pag-drawing natin. So, your x is 1 half. So, lalagay mo for the x is 1 half. So, magbilang ng 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Lagyan ng over 2. Sa so, denominator niyan, over 2. Lagyan ng square root yung 3 and 2 
yung 1 wag na square root of 1 is 1 then lagyan ng comma symbol and then sino si positive at sino si negative since quadrant 2 lahat ng x is negative okay quadrant 3 na tayo so lagyan ng parenthesis hanapin natin si 1 half at kumpletuhin na natin so kahit mula rito naman pwede mag start no so alin dito si dito na lang tayo alin dito si, yung mukhang 1 half asan si 1 half nandito ba sa x malayo no or nandito sa y Okay. So nandito siya sa y. So your y is 1 half. So 1 2 3 1 2 3 over 2 lahat. Lagyan ng comma. Lagyan ng square root sa 3 and 2 sa numerator lang. Since quadrant 3 same negative. Okay, next, dito tayo sa quadrant 4. So, mula rito, asan si 1 half? Nandito ba yan sa x? Or nandito yan sa y? Malayo dito sa y, no? So, nasa x siya. So, lagyan na ng parenthesis yan. Okay, your x, your 1 half is on the x axis, or x coordinate mo is 1 half. So, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 lagyan ng over 2 ok, lagyan ng kama then lagyan ng square sa 3 and 2 and then yung sign positive, negative so positive, negative si y negative si y, negative si y so ganun lang yung mas mabilis na uh, pag create or pag complete lahat ng mga coordinates dito sa unit circle ok, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoy learning about the coordinates on the unit circle. And before I end up my video, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. Eldrin Delican. And I hope you learned something. Goodbye!